A genetics counselor is a healthcare provider with a master's degree in human genetics. And our role is to sit down with a patient and go through their family history, look at the different diseases that may run in the family, and determine if genetic testing is appropriate. And if so, to really go through what are the benefits and limitations of doing the test and how will it impact the patient's health as well as their family members. As the technology of investigating chromosomes and genes has become more precise, we can actually find that certain diseases are associated with certain specific genetic mutations. Where we can find a genetic mutation, we are then able to say to a patient, you have a high probability that you will have this disease and these are the measures that you can take to prevent this disease. A good example of this is in breast cancer what we call the BRCA1 and the BRCA2 genes. Well, testing for a mutation within the BRCA1 and 2 genes is very precise. There are two specific genes that are known to increase the susceptibility to both breast and ovarian cancer by at least sevenfold. In the BRCA1 and 2 genes, when we do a blood test, in an appropriate woman because she has a certain family history, if we find that there is a mutation, then we can say to this woman, you have a 40 to 60 percent chance that you will develop an ovarian cancer and you have an 85 percent chance that in your lifetime you will develop a breast cancer. I like to think of all of the information as useful, not necessarily as good news or bad news. And the reason for that is that even if a woman has a genetic susceptibility to cancer, the ultimate goal is to prevent the onset of that cancer, and that is really the highest aim of medicine. So I feel that I'm offering these women a little window into their future that they wouldn't have had otherwise, and it's really a privilege. One of the major reasons that patients often come to us is to find out about their children and whether their daughters would be at risk for developing breast or ovarian cancer as perhaps they did. And it's really wonderful to be able to tell a patient, well, we don't really know why your cancer occurred, but we can tell you that it's not hereditary and you're not going to give it to your daughter. And it relieves them of the burden of the disease and the guilt of passing it on.